Boy, can Mother Nature be nice to us and just give us one day of a sunny sky with uh, this project? <laughs> so I'm behind the cabana right now because of all the noise that you're probably going to hear soon. But what's going on today is they're currently re removing the coping or the stones and they're removing any of the old uh, concrete from on it because we're trying to preserve them because uh, the stones that we have now you can't really get anymore. So they're doing the best that they can to keep them there. And we don't have to worry about that. And they're also... Um, uh, fixing up around the skimmers and doing all that so let's uh, go ahead and show you what they're doing because I, I don't know how much I'll be able to talk while I'm there because of all the noise but we shall find out so let's see I'm behind the cabana right now if I didn't say that already They got the string line all set up. And they're, they're using these pink strings here to hold up the uh, solar, co solar cover track while they're working on it because normally this track is screwed into the stone. This will be all fixed as well inside here. All this inside here, they're, they're all going to fix. Give me another shot of that. Here's the attract once again. I can give you a better shot of the skimmer right here. You can see this whole area they're gonna have that's gonna get fixed up. And, and the stone was on top here if you remember. There's the remaining stones right there. One of the skim one of the skimmers right here got some this is the shallow end skimmer. They got some repair patches of cement you can see right there. See along there, on the sides here. Probably gonna be some on top as well. There's the lid and stuff right there. 
Anda terrible, va. Got to be in great shape when it's done. A shot of where all the stones were along that side. Here's the track once again. They're going to do that one next. They're going to scrape off the uh, old concrete from it. And that guy right there is going to repair the next uh, skimmer. The rest of the coping stones have been removed from here. All along the damaged side, as you can see. Oh, let me fix that for you. There we go. Yep, all along the side that was damaged have all been removed. And right now, they're putting down the cement to reset the uh, ones that they took off. So this should be pretty cool. All the cement is right here. <laughs> All cleaned off along here. Oh, we're even by the waterfall inlet right there, as you can see. I haven't seen it like that for God knows how many years. Here's the track they still have held up by the strings. Let me show this skimmer repair while I'm at it. Here it is all repaired up, see? Got nice and even on the top, even along the sides, filled in any holes on the sides, along the bottom as well. All Should be all set for when the new tiles come. And uh, I'll get a video of that when those come. But uh, the color of the tiles is going to be marine, and uh, Blade Zero, uh, isn't that so appropriate? <laughs> you sure you know what I'm talking about there. Um, they're not here yet, so I won't be able to have a... I can't show them to you just yet, but eventually I will when they get here. I'll do a, I'll do a comparison between the old and the new ones. I told, I, I told them to save a, one of the old tiles, so um, I can show, them, show you comparisons. And here's where we're at. I think the coping here is okay. I'm not sure what they're doing on this side. I know Dean talked to them uh, earlier, but... I'm not sure what the plan is on this side. And uh, give you a shot of the shallow end skimmer again. The skimmer I just looked at is the middle one. All patched up. Looks really good. So I'll give you a shot from up here on the scaffolding. How everything how everything's looking so far. Here's one of the stones they took off. They chipped away all the old concrete from it. So it'll be nice and flat when they put it back on. Here's one of the stones right here. More brick stones by the waterfall. Everything is really looking great. It's a messy, but of course, it happens with a lot of construction. So, hey, that's normal. More of the bricks. Here's one that they just reset. And the excess cement will be cleaned up, obviously. There apparently uh, took a couple of the stones off on the other side by the ladder there, as you can see, and they're just kind of leveling off the uh, bottom. I guess um, I guess this coping wasn't really damaged, so to say. It was just kind of off level, so they're trying to just make sure it's all level uh, for when everything goes back to back uh, to, 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 to together. And let's head over here for a second. So so so, so right now they're just leveling everything and making sure it's all nice. You can see the uh, pile of cement right there. That's where they're going to put it all along again for this next one right here. And um, they're going to put them all back on, make sure they're all level. And probably when I come on for the evening, this side may be all back on. You see their, uh, they're uh, just spreading it out. 
he's, he's using the rubber mallet to make sure it's all level and uh, in the correct place. So they're, they're going to continue along with this and then we shall see how it all looks uh, in the evening when I come back. Okay guys, just got home from work about maybe half an hour or 15 minutes ago. And we are back outside to see what they did. If you notice here, here's where they originally took the stone, the coping stone off. And as you can see, they have reset it back on. So let's take a walk around and see how it looks. This is the part where that got pulled by the cover, if you remember. Walking along here. There's the line, uh, the yellow string, maybe you can kind of see it. All nice and put in. Probably waiting for the uh, cement or concrete to cure. And the skimmer's right there while the bricks are piled. And they repaired it really well. All brand new concrete. All nicely back in place once again. Just like it used to be before the cover. If you notice on the other side, they actually took the stones off that side too. Now if you remember they had done the skimmer repair so maybe it was like a decision, maybe decided to do both sides just to be constant, or constant equal, whatever the correct term is. Uh, it happened while I was at work though so not too sure what the plan was. But we'll go ahead and take a look from there. <clears throat> Neighbors next door once again have their TV broadcasting from the stereo. They either don't know or don't care that we can hear it, but here's the other side. Looks like this one they didn't take off, or maybe they, maybe it's just loose and they haven't removed yet. You can see all the stones along the side have been removed. We'll walk over here to where the brick ends currently. There's a skimmer right there. All that side they took off. I guess they want to reset them as well. As a matter of fact, let's get the uh, stones from this side. They haven't put the metal track for the cover back up yet, but eventually they will. You can see the new cement right there, that dark gray, where the um, stones were put back up. I, that brick is currently holding part of the track up. Go all along here. There's the skimmer, and there's the waterfall uh, outlet right there. So they really uh, patched it up well. So. You know what we do? Let's uh, go inside the pool and get some more footage from there. And here we are guys, over here on inside the pool. I'm gonna walk along the side that they fixed. You can see all the patchwork that they did. Or repair work. I, sh I shouldn't say patchwork, I should say repair work because they legit repaired them. The joints haven't been filled yet, but they'll get to that eventually. So if I just uh, crouch down here, there's all the new concrete, and all these stones have been put back into place. Really a nice sight to see. You can see that they still have the track suspended by the pink uh, strings there. But that's because, you know, they probably the stones really got to set themselves, be fully set, before they start reattaching them. And this is probably all the excess concrete that came off. That'll be cleaned up, it's not a problem. Here's the skimmer, all repaired. You can see uh, with the stone on now, all nice and fixed on top, all, all repaired, repaired along the corners and the sides. Really, really nice work. Down here, yeah, I just clean the weir off. The weir is, that's, that's the little door, that's what it's called. But they'll clean it off too, I'm sure. They're very good about that. And all along here, to the waterfall inlet, very, very nice repair and reset work looks really nice. Maybe get a shot from up here. See if I can face down the direction that they currently are. You know, here I'll sit I'll sit on the little bench on the step. Yeah, that definitely looks a lot more level than it did ever since the cover got pulled off. That looks really good. While we're here, Let's look at the other side, because um, they took off all the uh, coping stone on this side. I didn't think they were going to, but they apparently did. Again, I think it was a last-minute decision, because the skimmer work was already done, as you can see. But if they have to redo it, that's okay. They're, they know how to fix that stuff. But you can kind of get an idea of what it all looks like, and how it all um, com comes together. They um, And they keep them in the same position that they were, so when they put them back on, they'll know exactly where they went. Here's the, uh, you give a shot of the surface. This was probably all dug away by the jackhammer to make it as flat as could be. 
And honestly, to make it as flat as it to make it as flat as it can be, it looks really good. I really like how it looks. Once again, they got all the strings here holding the track up since they're normally anchored to the stones themselves. What are we gonna what are we gonna look at this track itself? I never really showed it to you guys before. But uh, the strings run, it's like a loop. It runs down to the end, then turns around and goes along the other end. That's how it works. And it's made of aluminum, so it's lightweight, and it's actually pretty flexible, which is good, you know, in case uh, to make up for any unevenness in the stone, which is definitely important. And, yeah, so this whole side is getting worked on as well. And once again, here's more, um, more of the surface. Yeah, that's uh, looking really good. I think they did some repair work on this skimmer here too as well. Yeah, you can. I can't really show it to you uh, unless I go on the scaffolding, but I don't really want to do that. So there it is. You can see all the uh, cement work around it, and it'll get redone as the uh, once the stones get put back on. And I think that's about it for now, guys. Today was mostly the work, the repair work for the skimmers and the resetting of the coping stone. So, so far so good. Things are starting to come back together, it looks like, on certain parts of the pool. And really going to be quite nice. Okay, guys, so that's it for today. As long as the weather holds up for tomorrow, they should be here as well. And I'm not quite sure what they have, aside from the, these coping stones, obviously. I'm not sure what else they have planned for tomorrow. But we shall find out when we get to it. So, this, is, this will be part three, and we shall continue as the project goes on.